my name is Brandon Aviato. I am the student trustee for the Alamo Colleges. I'm also a student at San Antonio College. I'm in my sophomore year, so I'm about to graduate and transfer. I am a father, and um, I'm a husband. My wife's in the military, and I'm a veteran. I was a U.S. Army uh, medic for six years. It definitely it requires a lot of prioritization and uh, understanding what you really want to get done within a given period. For me, uh, a rule that I like to follow is the 80% rule. So I try to make sure that I have kind of a set list of priorities that I that I maintain where these are things that I have to do within like 95% success rate, right? So for instance, I have to go to school, I have to go to work, and unless I'm very sick or you know there's a family emergency, that, that's gonna happen. And then you go, I have to do things within an 85 to 90% capacity. So, you know, I'm a student trustee, which means I need to go to you know, these events and represent myself well and the school well. Maybe I have extra priorities at work that I want to accomplish. Those are on that list. And then you go down to the 80% rule, things that it's okay if they don't always succeed perfectly. You just try to do the best you can. So for me, fitness is a big one. Fitness is important for my mental health and it's something that I prioritize. But if my other priorities come first in a the day, then unfortunately I, I can't do it that day. And that's okay. But, uh, you know, you have to learn how to how to gauge these priorities and, and manage them effectively in order to, to balance all these things do a walk-in and um, even for college acceptance uh, essays, I walked in there and I'm still working with a, a friend of mine who's also a tutor and he's helping me make sure that everything is polished for when I try to transfer. So I think that my willingness to, um, no matter who it is I'm working with, my willingness to uh, pursue a positive outcome for, for our goals and find shared goals so that we can align our values, I think that's what's really aided me as a student trustee. Um, a lot of the work you do as a student trustee is more um, finding, building relationships, and finding ways of uh, kind of demonstrating like uh, how the students needs and the and the college's needs are aligned. You just need to, as long as you go within a certain pathway. Um, and so uh, all of that hinges on your ability to, to bridge these goals. But definitely I would say that being a student trustee has opened me up to, to networking opportunities that um, I would say most other students would not even like get close to, right? I mean, I meet CEOs, I meet, um, you know, directors of, of hiring for major industries around San Antonio, around Texas, around like nationally. You get invited to, to go to events, not just as an attendee, but almost as a special guest. And so there are people there uh, that are wanting to meet you, uh, that, that go out of their way to meet you, like Congress people, like a Senator Menendez. I see him all the time and we, we're almost like familiar now because of the amount of time to see at events. And I don't know any other role as a student that you get that kind of exposure. So I highly, highly recommend anybody that is looking to improve their networking opportunities. This is an amazing role for that. This isn't the only role that you can make change. The, the ability for me to make change really hinges on the activity of other students. Our student district council, which is a part of, it's like a conglomerate of our SGAs. They are really the backbone for all the change that happens here for the students. And if you want to be something that's creating great impact, Student District Council is huge. There's a variety of, of organizations and clubs dedicated to community service, dedicated to you know certain missions that are about improving the community that you can be a part of as a student. And if you're on, unable to be a student trustee, I would go for those 100%.